Our speaker today is portrayed by Roger Arthur, who's a uh, local uh, historian and teacher and lecturer. Uh, he's got his master's from Westchester U, and he taught the last 15 years at Shanahan High. The <laughs> Colonel Teddy Roosevelt, the hero of San Juan Hill and the 26th President of the United States. Thank you. It's my intention to talk to you for about 30 minutes or so of some of my recollections. And then if you have questions, I'll be happy to answer whatever you may have. Understanding, of course, that I don't know anything after 1919. <laughs> my earliest recollections go back to April 26th, 1865. My brother Elliot and I were taken by father down 20th Street to our grandfather's mansion at Union Square. And from the second floor, we witnessed the funeral cortege of President Lincoln as he came to New York City. I remember that day because father had been quite a good friend of Mr. Lincoln during the war. When the war started, I was only three. But as I grew, I knew that my father was a very important part of the war. He would regularly go to Washington to meet with Mr. Lincoln and other people. He was a member of the Sanitary Commission. He was a founding member of the New York Union League Club to get Mr. Lincoln reelected in 1862. When things were as bad as they were with Taft as president, it wasn't Taft that was the problem, it was the old party bosses that were the problem. And that's why I ran in 1912. They, they were probably going to nominate me in 1920. Well, that didn't work out. But no, I don't regret that. Some say I do, but I do. Now, he certainly did not regret that I said that. Sir? Tell me about the teddy bear. How that we had, I had been president about a year, year and a little bit, and we decided to go hunting down in, in Mississippi. They had black bear down in Mississippi. So we went down there in the fall of 1902. We were down there about a week, maybe eight or nine days, hadn't seen anything. I was sitting in camp, one of the guides came back, said, Mr. President, we have a bear for you to kill. They had captured an old black bear and tied him to a, to a dead tree in the middle of a swamp. By the time we got there, he, he's emaciated. He's starving to death. I said, hey, you can't kill that bear. There's no sport in that. So I refused, and I went back to camp. Well, the guides I heard later killed him with their knives. Well, the story got out to the press, and that old buck bear turned out to be a mother bear with cubs, and then it turned out to be just the cubs. And the next thing you know, I get a letter from a toy maker up in Connecticut that said, he wanted to, to make some, some toy bears. Do I, th would, would I mind if he called them teddy bears? And I said, I don't care. So he started and put button eyes in them and they, the, the cuter they got, you know. And, but if one thing leads to another and the next thing you know, they're on the market. I, it wouldn't surprise me at all to find out that some of you may have had a teddy bear. But I wanted you, I have one. Just in case you didn't know. I still have one. Any, I'm wondering about your children. Did they end up in politics or in government service? What happened with them? Well, the four boys were soldiers, of course. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, one was killed in World War I, and one was wounded in World War I. Uh, the others were in, in Groton and Harvard and so forth. Okay. Beyond that, I. Uh, Alice got married. She married. Uh, uh, Nicholas Longworth, a congressman from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. She called it Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, didn't, she didn't care much for Ohio. <laughs> What's the story on the the remark that you were famous for of, of uh, speak softly but carry a big stick? I, I heard that when I was a boy. Father had taken us to Europe. We had gone 
to to Europe, of course, and going to Switzerland, where I had to, tried to climb the Matterhorn, not too well as it turned out. <laughs> and then we crossed over and, and sailed uh, up the Nile, and we got south of Khartoum, and there were we picked there were native Africans there, and uh, we had gone to one of their tribal meetings, and, and they that was one of their their uh, their sayings. If you, when you're in the jungle, you should speak softly and carry a big stick. And I think with all the jungle animals, that's probably good advice. <laughs>